I just want to show y'all how dark it is outside. It's literally like nine and some change. While y'all going to sleep, I'm really working. And I'm not saying that as a flex or like a grind or, you know, like, or some just to be, you know, making it cool. But I am saying that uh, because the wintertime grind is different, bro. I cannot lie. This wintertime grind is so different. Because when it's wet outside in the morning, I can't do calisthenics, so I can't go out and enjoy my mornings. So what I do is I usually um, sleep during the day and then work out at night at the gym. But yeah, though, I kind of enjoy it. It's a different grind. It's a different hustle. You know, when the uh, seasons change, you got to kind of improvise and change with it. Um, but I like it. You know what I'm saying? I just like adversity. I like obstacles and I like overcoming different obstacles. It gives me confidence. And it just makes me feel uh, highly of myself and feel better within myself. When you beat different obstacles and overcome certain things, you just really realize who you are. And it, and it, and it really affirms and confirms who the Bible says that you are. So let me catch y'all in the gym on the workout side. All right, so I made it to the gym. So I work out at this 24 hour gym. And what I just did was so dumb, bro left my wallet, which had the key fob to the gym, came all the way here, had to go all the way back. And it's like, you know, now we here though, finna get it in. You gotta get you something that's 24 hours so that way you can have this mug to your yourself. I don't really like crowded gyms with too many people in it because it's like, you know, distractions. You got females walking past. It's everything but working out. But before we do anything, you do gotta hop on that treadmill and get that that warm up in so that way you know your blood would be nice and pumped right you already be in that mode so i'm about to go ahead and get this nice little 10 minute walk in here and then we're gonna do some calisthenics today we got to get right with god y'all we have to and i don't know if i make this into a longer video or what but we definitely got to get right with god because things is getting rough these times is getting crazy you got to think about it in the days of noah god flooded the earth because of the pride of the people right the people their heart was just evil in all their ways but god flooded the earth because of that but after that he, he made a covenant with noah and the rest of the you know the, the living things that survived that flood he made a covenant with them that he would never ever ever flood the earth again so he sent the sign of a rainbow as his as the covenant and, and what we doing today in today's society, and I'm going to say we because I'm a part of this generation, right? And what we as a generation is doing today in this society is just wrong, man. Number one, we mocking God with the rainbow flags and then naming the LGB, naming these gay people that just want to do their own thing. We naming it pride, right? And pride comes before the fall. I never once witnessed a pride month in my, in my childish years. I never even... Maybe I was ignorant to it. Maybe it was around. Somebody can let me know I was born in 2003, right? So my childhood years was like all the way to like 210, right? 213, 20, 2010, 2013, right? So I was a child all them years. I never really heard of a pride month or a, a, a LG. Like I, this stuff just came, right? And I want to say that pride comes before the fall, so... If this is something that just sprung forth, then then obviously that fall is coming. And what I mean by the fall is like a, a big doomsday is coming. It is, bro. It really is. It happened in the Noah days. It happened like it, it's going to happen. It's going to continue happening, bro. It is. It happened to me. I had a doomsday where I had to wake up and smell the roses. I had a lot of pride. I was in the streets trying to run the streets saying F God and blasphemous and being that I did that. So everything that I see, I see I see going on in the world is like something that I lived, something that I know firsthand that that's about to happen, bro. God not playing with no prideful people. He finna humble everybody. And how he's about to do that, I don't I don't have the answers to that. Right? Obviously there's gonna be it's gonna be a lot, man. And, and you got to hop in your word to really understand the signs of the times. You got to really hop in your word to understand what's happening next. You got to really under, hop in your word to understand how to prepare yourself for it. And this is not, 
this is not nothing to try to make you scared because a lot of people used to get scared of these type of things and including myself right illuminati uh just just different things about the world like gaining more knowledge you become scared to it but once you realize nothing in his life is scared because if you got god then who can be against you if god is with you then who can be against you so you got to realize you as a person wanting to get your life right you now choosing the righteous life you choosing to walk with god and god will choose to also walk with you so now there's a covenant there right two cannot exist two cannot coexist unless they agree two cannot walk together unless they agree and that's what the word of god tells us so if you walk with the holy spirit and god walking with you y'all agree on something Right. If y'all agree on something, y'all walking in the right in the righteous ways. God is for you. And if God is for you, then he can't be it. Can nothing in his life be against you. Right. So his wrath is not set towards you. So when I'm making these videos and speaking on these topics, it's not a call. Um, it's not a call of it's not. I'm not trying to sow no discord and trying to warn you and say God is against you. I'm not saying that this is just a call of repentance telling you, hey, man, get right. Get on the right side before you get left. You got to get right before you get left. You know what I'm saying? And all that and all that's happening and all that is is just, you know, just doing the things of the word. I want to recommend a book to y'all. And it's the Gospels. Read the book of Gospels. Read the Gospels, right? The Gospels of Jesus Christ. And it'll tell you exactly how to live for Christ. Because everything else, this is after Christ. Everything that we live in right now is after Christ. Christ was actually here. The Muslims understand that. The atheists understood that. A lot of people understand that Christ was actually here, right? Whether you choose to believe in him as the God or Lord and Savior, you can't deny that man's existence. And if every household, every tongue know of Christ, then you got to understand who he is as a person. Whether you know of him as not a God and people worship this prophet, because that's what the Muslim like to believe. Whether you know of him as a God, everybody in this world knows of this man. Well, this God. Everybody in the world knows of this 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 being of greatness. And you really gotta ask yourself, why do everybody know this person's name? Why does why does everybody know this name? And why do I keep hearing about it? Like that's you you gotta ask questions in order to receive answers in this life, man. And the right question to lead to the right answer. Leading to your salvation. Leading to your life. So you got to ask these questions. Hey man, why? Why Why does... Man, why? Man, who is this Jesus character? Read the book of Gospel. Read the Gospels. It'll, it'll explain exactly who Jesus is. And another thing I want to touch bases on is, is, is about the Muslims since I'm already here. The Muslims, they were the, the Pharisees. You know, the people back in the day who actually crucified Jesus. Once you happen at Gospels and you understand who, who Jesus was and the story of Jesus, right? He was set up by his own people, Judas, and the people who wanted to be so righteous and walk with God and act like they knew God personally, but didn't even know that he was there standing in there in the flesh, right? Didn't even know that he was right there in front of you. Meaning, you can't walk with God. You, you, don't, you don't even know God even if he was standing in front of you. You don't know God if he was right in front of you. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you don't truly know God, and, and, and that's a sense of pride. You know, that's a sense of, no, I'm righteous because I read the book and I'm, I live by the law. Well, if that's the case, then God came to tell you, hey, man, this is what you're not living. You know, you know he came to destruct the law. Then. He, he not judge people by the law, but he was telling people, hey, man, if you so much righteous because you live by the law, you don't do this right. You slept with whores. You do this. So it just came to show you that everybody ain't perfect in his life and don't know nobody know God because of they, the, the right choices that they choose to live by. The reason you know God is by knowing God. Submitting to the Lord. And that Lord is Jesus Christ. And these were who the Pharisees were. The Pharisees were the Muslim people who denied Christ. They don't believe in him as a God. They believe in him as a prophet now, all of a sudden. After many years now, all of a sudden, he's a prophet to them. When really he wasn't, he was nothing to them at first. He was, he was not a God at first. He was a nothing at first. And then he proved his existence. And now they still denying that he is God. So if you are in the Muslim faith or the Islamic faith, because I know that the Aisho Spies and the, the, all the people and all these new people want to be Muslim. And it's, it's so popular to be just a Muslim now and read the Quran. If that's something that you follow and you got to get out of that religion because that is truly a religion. It's not a way of life.
It's not a way to life. I'm not saying go ahead and be a part of Christianity. I'm not saying that. But the Bible tells us that people who lived their lives, they were so much like Christ that they were called Christians. That's where the whole Christianity term came from. That's where Christians even came from. They were Christ-like. Meaning they walk like place. They cleaned themselves up. They started to clean themselves up. They became Christians. So I'm not saying join any religion. I'm saying get out of those religions. And step into the truth. Step into a lifestyle. Start following the way of life. Jesus Christ told us he was the way, the truth, and the life. So if that's the case, you got to realize who, who God is. And you got to follow life. Pride is coming. Well, not pride coming, but the, the fall of man is coming. Because we just, I don't know, man. And I feel like people are ignorant to the, the to the fact of what they are actually doing. Like, I don't think people really understand that this is mocking God. A lot of people are ignorant, but the Bible tells us that his people perish for the lack of knowledge. And that's very true. I know a couple of people in jail right now perishing for the lack of their knowledge. They didn't know certain things. Even with the taxes, and if you want to be very carnal and think of it like in a world way, like even with taxes, the IRS will come after you just for not knowing certain things about that money. So you will truly perish for the lack of knowledge. That's why you got to understand, you got to get in your word, you got to know certain things. But the downfall of man is coming. Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. Read the Gospels, bro. Read the Gospels. That being said, I'm out.